Hi, my name is Rachel Matos, and I'll be talking about the cost of water desalination in this video. Desalination is essentially the removal of salt from water. The reason this process is used is because several countries, including the United States, have limited access to safe drinking water. Desalination has been used for decades. Seawater is extremely salty and contains about 35,000 parts per million of dissolved salts. Fresh water contains less than 1,000. Salt water is not good to drink, but the majority of the water on our planet is salt water. For this reason, desalination plants serve as a method to produce drinking water. This chart depicts the current uses of desalination plants. As you can see, several countries utilize these plants as a solution to the issue of a shortage of safe drinking water. 60% of the currently operating desalination plants are located in the Middle East and North Africa. Currently, the largest desalination plant exists in Saudi Arabia. It produces 800,000 cubic meters of water a day, and nearly 70% of the country's water comes from desalination. The two main desalination methods that I'll be discussing in this video are reverse osmosis and distillation. This photo demonstrates the reverse osmosis process. This method is more recent and is said to be more cost efficient. As you can see through the image, this method pushes salt water through fine membranes with extreme pressure. The excess salt is then released without passing through the membrane. Once this process is complete, this fresh water is stored. The second process I will discuss is called distillation and is also referred to as multi-stage flash distillation. This process involves boiling salt water and pressurizing it through a series of chambers. You can see the chambers in the photo in the video. The vapor that is produced gets collected and condensed and re-enters the chamber and repeats the process in order to receive the most pressurized vaporization. This process is a thermal process. Desalination plants are a controversial topic because there are both positive and negative aspects associated with it. For one, it is not a cheap process. It has, however, become cheaper over the years. Arid countries that suffer from a lack of safe drinking water might not have the resources to produce a desalination plant. The energy that it requires through production, materials, electricity, etc. amounts to a lot of time, energy, and money. There are also potentially negative impacts on the environment. As I mentioned earlier in the video, excess saltwater brine is released back into the ocean. This brine might contain residual chemicals from the desalting process. This waste has a high density and is also the cause of oxygen depletion in the ocean. A lack of dissolved oxygen is harmful to marine life. For this reason, we can see that being harmful to the environment is absolutely a negative outcome of desalination plants. 